The votes came in just a few states Tuesday, but the messages they send may be heard across the country. Thank you all. Five-term Pennsylvania Senator Arlen Specter loses his primary fight. Arkansas Senator Blanche Lincoln forced into a runoff. A Tea Party-backed candidate defeats the establishment pick in Kentucky's Republican Senate race. The headline last night is, this is panic time for incumbents and the Washington establishment. Relative newcomer Joe Sestak bucked the Democratic power brokers, including President Barack Obama, and voters heard his call. Because he is not Specter, and I don't trust Specter because he changes parties. The success of insurgent candidates like Sestak and Rand Paul in Kentucky could signal a change in the way candidates are picked. Because they defied their party? and they got the backing of a Tea Party movement or, or uh, a splinter uh, special active groups, what that does is, is really lessen the power of political parties. 2008 Republican presidential candidate John McCain faces a strong primary challenge in his Arizona Senate race, and there's an even chance that voters in Nevada could toss out Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid in the fall. Throw in a recent Supreme Court decision loosening the rules on who can spend money on campaigns, and an electorate increasingly frustrated with the economy, experts say outsider candidates could become a lot more common. And this could be the big beginning of the unraveling of the two-party system um, unless the parties start responding to voters. Two other incumbents have already gone down this year. Utah Republican Senator Bob Bennett and a West Virginia Democratic congressman lost their primary fights. Matt Friedman, the Associated Press, Washington.